Hi, I'm Fiona McCormack from the Centre for Health and Development, aka CHAD, at Staffordshire University. CHAD is a research centre committed to high quality research that helps to improve the health and wellbeing of our local populations in Stoke and Trent and Staffordshire. One of our core research themes is health inclusion, and that's mainly focused on the experiences of people with multiple disadvantage and or who have difficulty accessing universal services. We're passionate about research that makes a difference and working in partnership is a key part of that for us. Since 2016, we've worked really closely with expert citizens and voices at the time on several research and evaluation projects, including evaluations locally of um, Housing First and the MARG and research around homelessness um, and support services for women. We also did the main evaluation of the Voices Legacy in collaboration with expert citizens. So we're delighted to be building on this work now as the evaluators with the Change in Futures project. And we're honoured to be working alongside such passionate and committed people, working alongside everyone to improve um, the support and transform services locally to better work with people experiencing multiple disadvantage. For me, it's like not trying to look at things in isolation. It's about the whole package because if people come into contact with services for homelessness or um, drug and alcohol use, there has to be like an overarching sort of shared system of meaning and understanding and access point. Otherwise, it's easy for people to fall through the cracks and, and not get the support that they need. So I think a system, at a system level, people working together can pick that up in a much better way. I would like there to be sort of real solutions, I guess, for what comes next. And sort of, so I feel like with the previous work, a lot of sort of things were identified that could be improved. And I would like to see then that through this work and the evaluation ongoing throughout Change in Futures, that those improvements are made. And I think the partnership working and the local authority being a key player within it is really strong and is going to help that to achieve that so that it's a lasting change that we have in the system of support beyond the time frame of Changing Futures. So what a lot of our research has shown is that sticking to appointments or strict criteria doesn't necessarily work and it needs things need to take more account of people's real lives and how the lots, there's lots of things going on for all of us. And so we need to sort of be realistic in what we are asking people to do and sort of being able to then make lasting change with people and work with them to achieve that.